Yeah, hello, welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. As you can see, today I'm in my Kimber camp together with Cornelius. It's been a long time since we've been out here. I think it was the last overnight I made out here. Uh, that's a couple of months ago. But yeah, today I'm out here and I uh, want to show you some things. Uh, you saw this. Uh, this is actually something I bought. Uh, and I'll tell you about this a little bit later. Um, and this one. But today it's a wonderful weather here. Um, the sun is shining and there's not much wind. So it's a perfect day for a trip to Kimber Camp. And uh, I also got my iron fireball with me. And I'll talk about that a little bit later. I'm going to make a little uh, thing to eat here, out here, and uh, of course my coffee. I'm looking very much forward to this uh, stay out here. It's a wonderful place to be. And I know a lot of you are enjoying this video from my Kimber Cape too. So, hope you'll stay on and uh, thank you for joining on this one too. I was looking for such a bird bark uh, container that I could have my uh, flower in when I'm out making my uh, whiting uh, videos. Uh, bird bark is, uh, has been used for many many years, hundreds of years and uh, they have a an extra property uh, it is antibacterial so if you come food in here uh, it is uh, less uh, risky that it will uh, rotten because the birch bark has something uh, in it that uh, prevents uh, stuff from uh, uh, getting infected with bacteria and so on so uh, this is a good choice for a uh, container for flour that I'll use and I can have it in my caldron. It's perfect size. So um, it took me a while to find a place where I could buy one of these. I have some that I bought up in Norway but uh, this one is really cool and uh, yeah I love it. The whole design of it. And uh, I find the right size and then I stumble upon this. Yeah, it's a DIY set, so you can make a birch bark container. Not exactly like this because it's a bit smaller, but the same uh, principle uh, and the same uh, material that is used for this birch bark container. So and I thought this could be a nice Christmas present for your husband or your wife, uh, whoever wants to make uh, such a birch bark container. Um, I could probably make one myself if I had the material, but here in Denmark it's very difficult to find birch bark that is in this quality. Uh, it's very thin, the bark I can collect out here in the forest. So uh, if you buy this, it's all in here and uh, you'll have all the uh, things that are needed for making such a birch bark uh, container. And today I'll show you how I will make it. It's my first time, uh, but I think I can do it and uh, in this package, I'll show you in a minute what is in the package uh, but uh, I have some uh, additional information about this so uh, yeah, I'll take you a little bit closer. Yeah, Let's open it see what's inside. And it's nothing for you Cornelius. No, 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 no. Of course it's interesting for Cornelius to see what this is. It's a very curious dog, extremely curious, I must say. No, 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 no. It's not for you. So now we're getting there. Nine, 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 nine. No. Down. Yeah, this was it. Inside this. Um, this little package is an instruction sheet that you can see how you make these. You can order them on their website for free too. Uh, I guess, I can't remember, but I think the one that is in the package is on German and you can get one in English. But uh, they are not very good uh, made, uh, poor quality, but if you ask them they'll send you uh, the one in um, digital so you can have it on your computer, print it out if you want to. But uh, this one uh, tells you how you can build this uh, birch bark container. And then there's some information about the company. 
and uh, the company is called Sagan, Sagan. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but it's a company in Germany, and they are very friendly. Uh, I've talked to them a couple of times. They're very friendly people, and you can ask them questions about uh, this set and all of stuff. But in here, you can see there's these two. And this is for making the actual container. Uh, and this is for the rim. This piece that goes over here and down here. And this is for the handle. This handle you can make yourself. And they are, uh, you can see you can cut it uh, by the lines here. And this one is actually for this, uh, this one. This one is the lid where the handle is going in. And uh, you can glue this on if you want to. You can leave it like this, but I want to glue this on uh, with some wooden glue. I'll show you that. And then there's the bottom, also made of wood. I think it's uh, pine wood, doesn't matter. And then, uh, last but not least, these ones that are used for um, sawing on this one, I'll show you. Yeah, but this is what you get, and uh, the most uh, surprising thing is that it's only 12 euros. I think it's very cheap. Uh, it's very uh, a very good price uh, because it's quality stuff and. Uh, with this kit you can make uh, such one yourself and I think you should consider go into their website and look. Uh, I bought this thing myself, I haven't uh, got anything for free, but I think it's so great stuff that I want to share it with you. So go in, perhaps someone could uh, wish this in a Christmas present or birthday present, yeah. But um, now I'm going to uh, take my things out that are uh, needed for making this uh, and in this little info you can see there's a list here that sh uh, tells you what you're going to need some of the things I haven't and uh, I added some other stuff that I think it's a good idea when you're going to make uh, a birch bark container like this so let's get ahead and uh, start making one yeah and this is some of the things I have uh, brought with me so I can make this birch bark container uh, my pot that I can have some uh, warm water in I'll explain that later um, something to make holes with you can use this, you can use an awl or perhaps uh, something you punch but I uh, choose to take this with me a ruler a pencil a scissor sharp knife, one I used for my um, leatherworks, some sanding paper, a piece of soap, and I'm not sure I'm going to use this, but uh, in the description they say that soap is a good thing to have. So I brought it with me, and uh, some clamps that I can use for uh, securing the rim when I'm gluing it. And of course the glue, uh, just ordinary white glue they would use for wood. So. Now I'm going to, um, to make this first and i put you a little bit closer again. And uh, accordingly to the instruction, uh, I have to cut this out. I'll show you. I'll make a cut here and here. And uh, perhaps here and here. They say it should be in the middle. So I cut this out with a scissor. And so on. Uh, something I forgot to say that was uh, this birch bark container has uh, two walls. Uh, an inner wall and an outer wall. And uh, you can see there's a brown surface and a lighter brown. And the lighter brown is going to be in contact with the inner surface. So this way so that the, the, the surface you see, both inside and outside, is this color. And um, 
I can feel this is a little bit thicker, so this is the outer and this is uh, the inner one. Now I have cut this and then I have to weave together, kind of. It's not difficult, it's difficult to make it when I have to film it in the same time. So I just take it here and do it like this. You can see now I have collected the one here. Try with the other one. Bend it slightly. Be careful not to bend it too much. The first bug can uh, crack if you are too. But down in the hole, and then press it down. I think it's a good idea to make it like this. You can see here, and then I just take it from the other side, just press it down here. It makes a little click actually, so very nice. And then I'm going to make the other one. And remember this, this one has to be bended the other way. First I'll cut this. Again, in the middle of the holes, like this, and then I have to bend it like this, the other way. And I guess this will be a little bit more tricky. But we'll try. And that's here where they say uh, some hot water or warm water uh, would be helpful. If the birch bark is very stiff, you can put it in warm water and it will soften. And I guess this will be much easier. Yeah, now I cracked this one, but let's see. I don't think it's going to be a problem because this one is going to be inside. Perhaps I'll put it in water and see if this is uh, going to be more soft when it's a little bit wet. And of course I'm, I'm prepared for this, so I took a, a thermal canister that I can have some hot water in. And this is very hot, but I have to, this one has to be dipped in this one. So hot water and then some uh, some cold water in here. I think they are saying about 60 degrees. Like this. Can you use? Not long time, just some minutes or some seconds. I can already feel it's going to be much easier. Yeah, it's softening. And just have it in here for half a minute or so, and I'll take it up and watch for the hot water, Cornelius. And then I have to put this one in inside the other one. And you have to do this and put it down here. it down then I have to flip it around here 
I have to work a little bit. Yeah, it's almost there. It took me a while to uh, do it. It's not easy. Um, but with a little patience and uh, you can make this. It looks okay. It's mostly inside, it's not so pretty, but it doesn't matter that much. It looks great on the outside, but you can do it. I know you can. And now uh, I'll have to put on the rims here. And uh, I'm making uh, something that uh, I found out myself would be a, a great idea. And the idea is uh, to mark it with uh, a pencil and I mark the places where the holes are going to be. Yeah. So now I have made markings with one centimeter apart from each other and uh, I think half a centimeter down. I'll do that with the other one too. So yeah, now I made that um, and this rim is going to be overlapping each other with two centimeters, so I have to cut a little bit off. I take this one like this. Yeah, that is okay. And um, Then I decided to uh, glue this on, but first you have to use the sandpaper to uh, sand it a little bit down so that the, the transition between this and this will be more smooth. So make it a little bit thinner here. They say that one end is uh, already sanded, so I could feel that was a little bit thinner. Yeah, this is fine. And then I'm going to uh, put some glue on, of course this side, and uh, put it on with these clamps. Like this. Just let it dry for a minute so it will be ready for putting on this one. Yeah, this was the the end, and then the other side, or the other end. Yeah, now it's on both ends, and uh, I'll let it dry there, uh, and I want to put uh, this birch bark on top of this, the lid, so I'm going to uh, Add some glue here. And of course, you have to be careful. Uh, this is, I think it's called conical. Uh, it's a little bit uh, smaller in this end than in this end, so this end will be up. So you have to glue that there. Uh, so be aware of that. Because when the lid comes down, it will press and hold itself. Uh, you will see that later. Something like this. And then which side do we want? 
I think this side would be nice. So I put it over here and uh, yeah. Then I have to dry here. I put something heavy on it. Let's see what I can find. Perhaps this one. Where I have the have the water in. Yeah. See I put this one over it so we'll press down and hopefully this glue will uh, attach uh, to the bark and the wood. Yeah. And while this is uh, drying, I will prepare my food and my coffee and uh, it's actually begin uh, raining outside, so I put up my uh, fireball, my iron fireball in here, and uh, light up my fire. And that's very nice to have a shelter I can be in when it's raining. Yeah, <clears throat> and uh, I want to tell you all that I'm so grateful for all the support uh, you have given me and Puni in this Kickstarter project. It is amazing uh, how well it was received and. Uh, we already got a lot of uh, backers uh, for this project and uh, we are very grateful for that. But uh, there's still some days left, so if you want to join us and be a part of the uh, Kickstarter project with this Iron Fireball, I think you should go into the Kickstarter page and uh, yeah, be a backer. So you will get this uh, as soon as possible and it's finished. Um, yeah, it's an awesome product, and I'm so proud and grateful um, that it will that it has been well received. And I'm looking forward to see the looking forward to see the canvas bag that is made for this. I haven't got it yet, but I'm sure it'll be fine. And I just turn it around here. Yeah, the iron fireball, and I put it over in my fireplace, and uh, this one in, of course. And then I'll use these to cook my food on. Hang on. I'll just remove this and put the iron fireball over here. This is perfect. Putting this one in. And this, putting this together. I think it's called assemble it. Yeah. And down here. And then I just have to find some firewood and light it up. It's working fine in here. Yeah, brought some bacon. See, there's not much room here. I just put it over here. Oh yeah, some nice bacon. Danish bacon always good quality. Sometimes there's a car driving here through. There's a little dirt road down there, but 
I haven't heard anything. And now, and now for the little egg. If we can do this. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Almost. And then I took this these slide of breads from back home. Like this, and uh, of course the egg on top of this. When it's finished, just a minute. Oh yeah. Ah, doesn't that look nice? And uh, this is for Cornelius. Then I brought my salt and pepper kit here. You can see. And those of you who hasn't noticed it, I have a new channel called uh, DIY Kimber, where I put all my videos where I make these uh, things. So um, there's not much pepper in here. <laughs> what about the salt? No. I have to fill it up. But eggs without salt is not good. You get your bacon just in a minute, Cornelius. I have the salt. I hope I have the salt for the yeah for the coffee. So <laughs> and there's not yeah. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was a lot. What am I going to do? I can't eat all that salt. I'll take this and remove some of it yeah well I guess that's okay and put this on top and then I have my little my little sandwich bacon egg sandwich and I actually found out I haven't I forgot to bring a knife and we like to cut this, so why not use an axe? Yeah. Oh yeah. Like this. Egg and bacon sandwich. Mmm. Mmm. You like it? And now the sun is shining again, it's typical weather, uh, autumn weather in Denmark, rain and, uh, and sun, uh, mostly a little bit more windy than today, but uh, that's the, the spring and the autumn uh, weather in Denmark. Are you thirsty? Yeah. Yes, you must be. Ah, 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 Is 
see if there's some salt left. Yeah. Come over here. Yeah, so now it's uh, dried almost, and I want to uh, make the holes now while I'm cooking my coffee. I think this one is a good size. Just continue all the way around. So now the coffee is almost finished. I have to rest for a minute, but then I'll have my Kimba coffee. glued on now, so this is fine. And then I'll continue with the holes. And then now I punched, uh, made the holes all the way around and uh, and then this is where it come in and they say if you apply a little bit of soap on it it will be more soft to work with so I'll try to do that and you can always wash the soap off afterwards and then you have to start somewhere, some place. I think I'll start here. Yeah, I cut it a little bit pointed in this end. And then you just have to weave it in. And of course you have to be careful here not to Overdo it so that the the spark will will splitter. But just from the outside in and from the inside out, like this. Of 
course you have to be firm around the edge and um, yeah this one the end inside I have to put it through this so so it will attach I make it and then I'll show yeah. you can you see here almost like a little nut and then I can cut it off but I'll continue here Yeah, now I'm almost done with the first end. I'll see how I can finish this so it looks good. And this one I'll put in here. Yeah. I think this will do. It's not perfect. Far from, but my first try, so it's okay, I think. And then I have to do the same on the other end. Yeah, and now I'm finished. Um, it would be wrong to say it's easy to make this, um, but you have to have patience and uh, yeah, do your best. Now I'm going to uh, put the bottom in first, this one, uh, up here, and then I'll make the lid uh, finished. I think this is the best way to do it. You have to press it down and then uh, with your other hand uh, make the make the um, burst bag a little bit bigger. Press it over. But now you can see it's it's okay. Yeah. And then for the lid. And uh, I think it's dry now. And I think I'll use my scissor because my experience is this one uh, is very difficult to uh, to cut in with a sharp knife. Yeah. This is fine. Take the sandpaper and see if it fits. Yeah, I have to do it again. Press it down. Have to be careful not to overdo it, then I can't get it up again. But uh, yeah, then I have to make the handles. And again, this is for the handles. I can cut them out with a scissor. Yeah. This was the first one, and then the other one. So here, two pieces and the, uh, the lights, the white surface to watch each other, like this. And um, yeah. I think I put a little bit glue on it so it will uh, it will stick together. Yep. Just 
secure it with these. And then of course I have to uh, make these uh, sludge down through the top here. And uh, I guess this is where uh, the sharp knife comes in. Made it a little bit bigger, cut it off. That's better. Yeah, you can see it's going through like this. It's okay. Do the same on the other side here. I think this is okay. And then there are uh, two options, but I think I'll you can either put a stick, make a hole, put a stick through both of them, or you can split them and come something in here that is bigger and then pull them. But I'll make that split, or I'll make that uh, hole here. If I can. Then I'll see here. Yeah. Making a hole here. And here, and, um, then I have to make a little like a toothpick pick. Perhaps this will do. Over on the other side, catching the hole there. Yeah, it's coming through. You can see here. Maybe I would recommend you to take a plier with you so you can. Do this, but it's okay. I just cut it off here. Yeah. So you can see. Yeah. And now for the final, put it down here. Don't force it. I think perhaps. And then, uh, when it dries up, I'm sure that the bark container, the birch bark container, will have expanded so much that you can put this on without any problems. So yeah, this is the final result. The one I bought and the one I made myself with this uh, DIY kit. Hope you like it. Yeah, it was a very interesting little project. It took me about uh, two to three hours to make this. Um, you have to be uh, have a lot of patience and uh, careful when you do this uh, thing, the, the bindings. I uh, broke up a, a couple of those uh, that I used to uh, make the rim, uh, so I have to attach them together again. That's not. 
uh, easy task, so be very careful when you do that, when you uh, pull them. But nevertheless, it's a cool little thing and a great um, Christmas present or birthday present or whatever you can buy for yourself. So I can definitely recommend you to try this and uh, 12 euros is very cheap. I think it's a good uh, offer and uh, yeah, go in and check them out. Um, Sagan, I think it's called S A G A N. I put a link in my video description. Of, of course, I do that, and um, yeah, you can see the logo down here. So nice little thing, and my first homemade um, birch bark container. Yeah. Hmm? You're okay, thank you. I think he likes to be cuddled on the stomach. Yeah. He's 11 months old now, so uh, in a month it'll be one year and uh, turn into be a very friendly dog, my little Cornelius. But yeah folks, this is all for now. I hope you enjoyed this little video with my little DIY project. And um, yeah, again, if you're interested in the Iron Fireball, go into the Kickstarter project and uh, be a member of the, the team, the Iron Fireball, Fireball team. There's plenty of room on this uh, Viking longship, so uh, if you want to be a member of that crew, join us there and uh, you'll get the Fireball as soon as it's going into production and it's finished and uh, the more the happier so uh, yeah join us there and hope you'll buy it when it's on the market yeah thank you again for watching Kimber Bushcrafts I really appreciate that and for all your support I forgot to say I'm uh, turning the uh, 91,000 subscribers so only 9,000 subscribers then I'll reach the 100,000 subscribers. So I'm very grateful for all your support and uh, the kindness you're showing me and my family and uh, I appreciate having you on board my, my channel. So I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye and take care.